Psychic Wave Podcast. The music you're listening to is Holy Vultures by Bundy. Uh, their music is on Spotify, iTunes, and any streaming service you can think of, they're on there. Uh, I'm trying a new thing where I'm playing music at the beginning and end of the podcast. Uh, at the end, we'll probably be music related to whichever band came on. So if I have a band on here, I'm going to play one of their songs at the very end. kind of makes sense. But at the beginning, I want to put some music that I'm into. Um, and Bundy is definitely one of the bands that I'm into. Uh, one of my buds... <laughs> I shouldn't say bud when I'm talking about Bundy because it's too close of a word. But uh, my friend Nani from Bundy uh, just started a Patreon. And I wanted to shout that out. Uh, if you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically you can help contribute to... Uh, uh, an artist, musician, and get their get their content out there, and you actually get some stuff back from them. Uh, it's pretty cool. So you should check out uh, Bundy and check out their Patreon. See if you can contribute because uh, these guys they're they're one of the ones that you should be contributing to. Uh, I I look up to them a lot, and uh, please check it out. But yeah, this song is Holy Vultures by Bundy, and uh, trying a new thing. So if you want your music submitted on here. Uh, go ahead and send it to me, and I'll put it on if I like it. And if I don't like it, I won't put it on. But don't get your feelings hurt. And uh, don't message me about it like, Hey, man, when are you going to put my song on? Sorry, dude. I don't know. I have no fucking idea. I don't know what I'm doing right now. It's uh, it's 8 p.m., and I'm doing an intro for a podcast that I did like a week and a half ago that I didn't get to before I went on a uh, little hiatus, a little vacation. Uh, I talked about that already, so I won't, but yeah, I'm back. And you know who else is back? Mm Mm-hmm. Narlord. So when I had Narlord on for the first time, he created quite a ruckus. Lots of people liked (laughs) that podcast because Alec, a.k.a. Narlord, is a very special human being. He's all about fun. Uh, just really being around his friends 24-7 and supporting his friends and supporting music he likes. He's an event promoter. He's a band manager. And today he was actually an old man, uh, which was kind of funny. But when I put the video up, you'll see what I mean. He wore an old man mask the whole fucking time. And it's a grotesque looking old man mask. Like It's one of those ones where the mouth moves when his mouth moves and it looks pretty real for a mask, which is which is super creepy, but anyway, Narlord is back, and um, right now he's actually coming down uh, t- back to Southern California because he's on tour with the High Curbs right now, uh, shout out to High Curbs, and uh, yeah, they're doing a whole tour thing right now on their way back, and um, I'm, I can't wait to see them when they're, when they're back in town because I love those dudes, they're fun as fuck, and um yeah, I didn't get to this podcast right away, but shit happens, man. So I'm trying to do it now. It's 8 p.m. on a Tuesday. I'm back at my office after dinner, and I thought, you know what? Fuck it. Let's let's go back and uh, get this podcast done. Get it up. So there's a lot of stuff that I avoid talking about on the podcast because I don't want to... Um, just say something that maybe I'll regret later, which I shouldn't even be worried about because I've already said a bunch of shit that I uh, would never say again, but it doesn't matter. There, there are things that are on my mind, and I don't usually get into the news because, fuck, the news just always sucks. There's never anything good. 
going on in the news. But there is something pretty interesting that I think is uh, important in our time right now that I wanted to talk about, and it's this whole 3D printed gun thing. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, on August 1st, you will now be able to download the schematics to print your own gun at home. So if you have a 3D printer, you... I, I don't have one, so I don't know how it works, but I you get the... Um, you download or pay for the... the uh, the schematics, the um, blueprint, basically, for a printed 3D gun, and your 3D printer prints it, and then you have a gun, an actual gun that shoots bullets. And, yeah, that's happening August 1st, and it, it caught my attention because there there's quite a bit of people talking about, you know talking about it because we already in the United States have what I would call uh not a I wouldn't call it a gun problem I'm just going to say we have an issue surrounding how we feel about guns now obviously if you or a loved one have been uh affected by gun violence you're going to think one way and if you own a gun and nothing bad has ever happened to you uh maybe it's made you feel safer you're going to think another way that's fine. That's that's fine. But I just want to address some of the things that maybe I haven't heard other people talking about with the 3D printed gun. So people are saying, you know, it's it's going to be scary because you can print a gun in your house. Well, you can pretty much just get a gun anyway at the store. Not like at the store. I mean, they do sell them like at Walmart. They sell them at Big Five. I've got one... Both of those stores are within two miles of where I am right now. I could, in theory, go out and get a gun right now. So, we have access to guns as it is. So, if you say that, well, it's going to be easier now for everyone worldwide to have uh, the ability to make print their own guns. They don't even have to leave the house. It's non-traceable. There's no receipt that you went out to a store and purchased a gun. Nobody's going to know you even have a gun. That that alarms some people. And I understand that, but people have been assembling their own guns for years. And they're, they're actually not that hard to make. I've, I've seen um, YouTube videos where people have been making their own guns. And this, uh, this has been going on for years. So this isn't the first time people are able to assemble their own guns. And I just thought that like, Maybe that should be talked about a little bit. I do understand that the access to 3D printed guns are just giving away or like for a small uh, amount you can purchase uh, the design for a 3D gun. I get that. It, it seems like it would be easier. But I looked up these 3D printers because I don't know anybody that has a 3D printer. So I thought, fuck, like how much are these things? Is it really beneficial to even do this? Well... Kind of. The small 3D printers that you can print like t super tiny stuff, super cool small designs, those are like 200 bucks. And the really big ones where you can print pretty much anything you want, those are like 10000 up to like $30,000 was one that I found online. So, I don't know, is it more accessible? Do I really want to... 3D print a gun, or if you're somebody that's into guns, aren't you just going to buy a gun that is already tested, like tried and true, that has... <laughs> Do guns have warranties? <laughs> I have no idea. If your gun is uh, not working, like if you buy a, a gun from a major manufacturer, do they have warranties? I feel like they must, but anyway, my point is you have to have a 3D printer anyway, and let me make this clear. I'm not taking a side for or against. I'm just addressing things that I'm thinking about when uh, this subject was brought up. You know, because it's a scary thought. Somebody could say, yeah, now we're going to be able to print guns whenever we want. Just keep on pushing out guns. Everybody gets a gun. Yeah, that idea initially can be pretty scary, for sure. There are a lot of people that I don't want to have guns, for sure. But people have also been making their own bombs for years. 
pipe bombs and just all, a bunch of di- people have been able to get their hands on stuff <laughs> that they can combine to make weapons with. And they've been doing this for a long time. And, you know, I, I just, it's not even a gun problem. This is the thing that, that I want to make really clear. Like, the issue that we're having is not with the guns. It's not the guns. It's who gets the guns. You know, if everybody in the world was mentally sane and had compassion and love for their fellow human beings, then it wouldn't matter if there were guns on every single sidewalk. Like, you wouldn't go out of your way to kill somebody if you were mentally sane. I understand accidents happen. I mean, kids even reach into their parents' you know, closets and get guns and there are accidents like that. But that's like gross negligence. Like, are you really leaving a gun in the uh, vicinity of a kid? Like, are you watching your kid? Why isn't this gun locked up? Blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. My issue isn't really with guns. Do I think we need AK-47s? I don't. Do I think we need, uh, you know, pistols on every single person? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that that's necessary. I don't have a gun. I have no desire to get a gun. But if we didn't have such a problem with mental health and, you know, expressing ourselves and just overall happiness, if, if we didn't have a problem with finding joy in life, I don't think we would have this issue that we have now where people are acting out of anger, acting out of anger, and hurting other people. Like, that thought just does not cross my mind. And I'm assuming that it's because I'm somewhat mentally healthy. And I think what I want more than anything is to be in a world where everyone is happy and mentally healthy. And I understand that that simply isn't what is going on right now. So I understand the argument against guns because not everyone is mentally healthy. I I wish they were, but that's just not the way the world is right now. So I think there are a lot of people that shouldn't have access to these guns. And in the end, there's going to be regulations on 3D printing anyway. I'm sure new stuff is going to come up. And unfortunately, some people are going to be hurt by these 3D printed guns. Uh, So I understand why it's a big issue. I understand why it's a big issue. And we have so much new technology that allows us to do things like this um, that really scare people. Because we can 3D print a lot of stuff that's very useful and nonviolent that will really help out the world. But in turn, we can also print guns. So is 3D printing bad? No. Are guns inherently bad? I don't think so. I don't think they're inherently bad. They don't have a mind of their own. But unfortunately, they get in the hands of people that are unstable and unhappy. And humans are just really wild cards. We're predictable, but we also have a hard time controlling our emotions sometimes. So I just wanted to address it because it is something that I've been thinking about as soon as this was brought up to me. And I can't really get it out of my head, but I think most importantly, there's going to be regulations in the end, but let's try to work towards mental health. Try to make yourself happy every day. If you see somebody around you that looks like they need some help, help them out. And if you see somebody that looks like they really need help, professional help, do the best you can. Bring it up to them and try to be kind about it. Or, um, If you don't know how to bring it up to them directly, talk to a loved one of theirs and talk to them and just try to be kind and open-hearted. And, you know, things work themselves out anyway. But I think if we come at it with the mentality of uh, being open to anything, open to suggestion at least, uh, and with love, I think that's a good start at least. I don't know where this is going to end up, but it's just something that I wanted to bring up. And I didn't mean this to be a downer segment. I don't, I don't think it is. But I think it's important, you know. Uh, 3D technology is super fucking cool. And I don't want something like this to give the whole thing a bad rap. 
because we're doing some crazy shit with 3D printing. Anyway, I'll get off that tangent. I think I talked your ear off enough. Uh, let me know how you feel. Send me a message. You can DM me. That's fine. Uh, just let me know how you feel. Tell me if I'm wrong. Maybe, you know, tell me some stuff that I haven't brought up or stuff that I don't know. So, yeah, thanks for listening, people. And I'm really excited for you guys to uh, listen to this podcast. We're going to get into it right now. Um, so, without further ado, here is Narlord. Who are you? Well, I go by many names, but this one, I'm going to go by Narlord. Narlord. I'm here with Narlord again, but uh, you've aged I aged about poorly. 60 years in about two months. Yeah, I mean, everybody says all the drinking that you do, it's going to catch up with you, but it <laughs> really fucking caught up with you. Quite almost much. overnight, brother. Almost. almost overnight. It's almost like <clears throat> a mask was put over you and you just poof, were... How old do you think that is? That's that's I'm that's gonna a good say 90 seven. year old. <laughs> Whoa, you're gonna call me ninety, dude? Yeah. Seventy nine. Seventy nine. Pushing eighty. Oh man, red, you red. look really bad for seventy nine. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably all that uh, all that punk rock stuff I do. Yeah, that's not punk rock. Skunk rock, sorry. Skunk rock. Smelly rock. Well, it's been a while since we've seen each other. Yeah, I mean, I saw you at uh, your house. We went swimming. Oh, yeah. We took a little baby Chongo. That was like two weeks ago. Yeah, not that far. Not that far. But I see you frequently, so that's weird. Yeah. I usually see uh, Andrew over here every other day, it feels like. I keep touching the... (laughs) My nose keeps smacking against that mic. So people who are just listening to the podcast, not watching the video, Alec is wearing an old man's mask. And it's uh, freakishly, I don't know. It does. It's not real, but it's just creepy. It moves with your actual face. And my zipper's down. Let's get this. Like every old man anyway. Their zippers are always down. They've got like pudding on their shirt. Pudding? <laughs> Sorry, that much. Sorry if, if, if you miss it, I looked down so hard. I hit the bill of my head on the mic just to see if I had pudding on my shirt. Do I have pudding? No, just I feel like old people eat a lot of pudding. You know, easy for them to chew. <laughs> You chew pudding? <laughs> you do when you're old. And you have no teeth. <laughs> yeah, you do. You definitely would chew pudding if you were old because you're dumb. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> but you rolled through with a, um, a different crowd than usual. Yeah. None of my punk rock homies are here. These guys aren't punk rock? Well, I mean, you know, they're cool. They're from the Manipause show. We got Bobby and HD. They're uh, checking it out. Yeah. They got their own podcast going. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's going nice. Helping them out, trying to make it run smooth with a V. Smooth? Mm-hmm. Like, a, prefer- like a smoothie. Smoothie. <laughs> a smoothie movie. Yeah. Okay. All right. How'd you guys get uh, mixed up with each other? Uh, my friend Craig. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Yeah. My friend Craig. I need a friend Craig. We all have a friend in Craig. I don't have you a friend You just got to go on the internet, type in Craig's list, mm-hmm. ah. and look for some jobs. Oh, got it. And then there they are. There they are. They they, they needed some guy to uh, <clears throat> guru their social media, get them off the ground, get them into everyone else's eyes. And Years. I guess uh, my email stood out to them. Yeah. Yeah. Will work for porn at gmail.com. Will work for sweet baby raids. <sighs> Can't wait for your next new thing that you attach on to because sweet baby raids is getting old. Hey, quick. guess what? I'm not. I, it's spread. <laughs> it spread and it got around too fast and guess what i get to do run with it or like they say uh ride the sauce wave i think you know how like when your friend gets a new car and all of a sudden you start seeing that car everywhere i don't think that sweet baby rays is actually blowing up i think you're just thinking about sweet baby rays so much that you're manifesting it in your like everyday life but andrew tell me this ever since i've been saying it have you not been seeing it everywhere i actually ran out of my house because i've been using it too much Told you. Yeah. I prefer the original, though. I don't like the honey. I'm doing the honey just for the the sake of trying new (laughs) flavors, man. (laughs) This is so weird. You look so fucked up. I look fucking hot. You do look warm. 
by the way. And I like how your earring is sticking out. Yeah, I wore the dangly one. I wore the dangly one on purpose so it would show out of the mask. You know what? Like I just realized why it's super, super creepy. You've got the mask has hair, but you have no eyebrows. Wow. You know what? <laughs> I never noticed you didn't have any brows. Should, what I, should, I, should I stick? Should I should I glue hair? My some of my hair up here? Mm-mm. Just a couple <laughs> no, strands. Don't. Just a couple strands or a marker. You know, <laughs> give him an expression. You'll be a chola. Do the chola. Brow. It's probably the no eyebrows that creeps everyone out, huh? Yeah, and uh, the fact that you have a mask and you bring it places. Yeah. So a story about this mask. Cut to last year, San Francisco. We're at some house party. I think. Uh, aqua dolls played or something like that we were supposed to play what we didn't because it got broken up and i found this mask on the floor i picked it up i put it on kind of walked around the party and uh, i noticed that all my curbs all my high curbs were gone they were missing i was like holy shit did they leave did they just think like oh alex gone so we should dip that's exactly what they did so i had to call him like yo i'm still here like dude we looked around we didn't see you anywhere and i was like dude i'm wearing a mask <laughs> and they're like dude, well d- that's probably why we didn't fucking see you yeah yeah so then I took the mask with me, and it's been, it's seen. It's seen. Can you, I guess you could wash a mask, but I know you didn't. I just, I don't, I barely, you know, I barely wash my clothes, so I'm not going to spend time to wash a mask. Yeah. The inside has a little sponge on the lip, which I probably God, should God, you should have taken that out, yeah, because that's got somebody else's sweat stored in it. It's all right. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> I don't know, man. You're quite the character, but I guess that's <laughs> why you uh, have been assigned a new project. Do the social media thing. Yeah, you know, we'll see where that goes. Yeah. You know what the thing with you is? When you walk in a room, you make people look at you. They don't yeah. have a choice. No, and they don't. <laughs> they don't. And, what? And, and actually, I don't. I don't. I don't make anyone look at. Let's rephrase that. I don't make anyone look at me. I just gave him something to look at. That's true. You know, I asked you when we were at the pool party, how come funny shit is always happening to us? Because it is it is <laughs> and, and, like the and, weirdest and shit. And what was the answer? The answer is, well, you said we're, we're creators. Yeah. You, you make it happen. You go out of your way to get in kind of weird situations and you get some weird And there outcomes. it is. Like, what, what do you expect when you go to In-N-Out, right? Uh, some burgers, yeah, animal and style. the smell of onion. Mm-hmm. You know, what, you what, what do I hang- expect going into weird punk rock shows? Weird punk rock shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens when you hang out with bands all the time. It's fun. I rather hang out with bands than bands. Your like, uh, your level of what normal is definitely changes. Like, yeah. you're comfortable sleeping in a house that has like five roaches when before like one you were cool with. I was never cool with one roach. <laughs> I was always cool with multiple roaches. Papa Roaches. Yeah, because Papa Roach <laughs> did a lot for the music. I mean, Jacoby, Scarred. Give me a, <laughs> give oh, me I a break. I forgot about that TV Get show. It? Yeah, Scarred. This Jacoby is fucking Scarred. All my friends love that show, and I, I could not watch well, it. I could, it's, uh, it would make me not want to do the stuff I was doing. Skateboarding you know? and Yeah, I was yourselves. doing all that stuff, yeah. so I don't want to see s- s- people splitting their dicks open. No, I did like Jackass, though, because somehow nobody like got that hurt. But they yeah. were like throwing each other in barrels. And a lot of the stuff down. I wouldn't do either. Like I'm not gonna do the stuff Jackass was doing just because. Like fuck that. Yeah. Fuck all that stuff. Johnny Knoxville actually stood blindfolded in the middle of a ring, and a bull charged at him and flipped him, and he just. <clears throat> how do you how do you even prepare for that? Okay, so what what are we gonna do today? I'm gonna put on a blindfold. I'm gonna stand still. And then you're gonna open a cage. And a bull is going to come flying out. It's a big surprise. Like It's almost like, okay, I, I hear it. It's getting closer, <laughs> huh? Boom. Yeah. yeah. I I don't know. I, I don't think I would ever have the, the guts to have any wild animal just take its wildness out on me. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't good. fight a bear. I'd die. You, I could, I, you, you know couldn't I, fight a bear. I would try. No. And then in, in, in the end, I'm doing myself harm because he just wants to fuck me up harder because I pressed him. Right. Yeah. I don't think bears like being corralled into fights. Mm-mm. Neither do sharks or wild chameleons. Yeah. Yeah. Do wolverines even exist anymore? Um, 
It's like only in Australia, right? I honestly have never seen one, so I can't believe in it. Or uh, Tasman- Tasmanian Devils. Mm, that's a cartoon, brother. It's also an animal, but I don't think those are around They're anymore. probably extinct. <laughs> <laughs> they drank too much. They drank too much devil juice. Too much devil juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I like about coming here, Andrew? No. I'll tell you. <laughs> okay. I'll go ahead. Well, I reckon I like the fact that I can come here. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very comfortable. Your seats have cushions. Most of Your them. Your bathroom has toilet paper. Yeah. There's uh, always some beers. Mm-hmm. And you welcome anybody. I do. Cheers to that. What am I going to be an asshole? Clink. Are there places you go that aren't like that? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the Chuck toilet- E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> they don't let you in Chuck E. Cheese? Not with my homies. Not when you're wearing that I mask. Gotta, gotta, they're like, who the fuck is this pedophile? No, they go, we've kicked you out before, dude. Uh, yeah. Did you but really get kicked out of Chuck E. Cheese? Not for wearing this mask. For doing what? Just drinking a lot of beer. They're not allowed to serve you more. When they were. When they were. Yeah, workaholics ruined that. Workaholic? No, wasn't it some... Uh, Drunk? No, it was some dad recently gonna fight... <laughs> No, really. Some dad got in a fight with another dad at Chuck E. Cheese because they were drinking too much. And now it's a two-drink limit. Two beers. What the fuck's two beers going to do? Uh, get you full? It's going to make me want more beer. Yeah, it's going to make me want to buy a pitcher and then have to go, well, drink in the parking lot. You think that's safe, Chuck E. Cheese? Drinking in the parking lot? Uh, It's a little safe. I mean, you'll get a ticket. Well, but I'm it, talking to Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, I don't think he's going to come on the podcast. You Last try, time you I went tried, to... Right? You cheat him up? <laughs> yeah last time i went to chuck e cheese uh my agent's still talking to his agent working out the details but last time i went to chuck e cheese yeah it was the same thing i didn't realize they cut you off i had two beers and i said fuck this and i walked across the like shopping center to a mexican restaurant and just got plastered there then came back and was like Played happy birthday games. christian happy birthday christian you are one years old yeah you're never gonna remember this yeah. <laughs> they sold pictures like when i was going there they sold me and my dad a picture couple of them that's yeah. rude and then we got I, I got kicked out different occurrence now with my dad wait were you being no what i were was you just doing? pissed off that the games <clears throat> kept eating my coins that's what they do i know no i know but like <laughs> you put a coin in you play the game you get a i ticket. was putting coins in and not being able to play the game yeah like 50, a couple times 50 percent of the games at Chuck E. Cheese are always and broken. you know me dude i'm not one to waste the silvers no not no. not some quarters man no no, no, those no. are four of those is a dollar you know you can go to the dave and busters right and you can like get super hammered yeah and- yeah but you know what oh it's really expensive over there chuck e cheese happens to have a lower price because of the lower age kids that go yeah they don't know any because those kids can't afford that shit they're no. fucking kids yeah they barely have jobs yeah barely <laughs> so you brought chongo <laughs> speaking I of babies. baby chongo say something brother I bet if you... He used to say stuff, but I think his batteries got... When he dumped them in the pool... Uh, yeah. Yeah, you should take those batteries out. But I think if you gave that baby to somebody in a lab and they, like, analyzed how dirty that thing was, like it would CSI? be, like... It'd be radioactive for sure. Do you ever wonder who owned that before you found it? Probably a dead person. Dead baby. Fuck. A baby owned baby? Yeah. <laughs> Baby's own babies. That does for 2018. <laughs> yeah. No, but when you see a little kid like with a fake stroller and a baby in it, it's like, holy shit, wait a little bit. <laughs> You're a gonna... fake baby in a stroller? <laughs> yeah, you know, like little girls, they like oh, they sell they like, like the mini strollers. strollers and like babies and stuff. Yeah. And it's like, what are we doing here? Give the girl a football. Like God No, damn. not even that. I no, just no, mean, I like, don't understand that, but like give you, her another You don't toy. need to be parenting at six. I don't think the I, I don't think uh Dolls should be aimed at babies. Where should we throw them if we're going to... Grown men. Throw dolls at grown men? Mm -hmm. My logic behind that is because a grown man can do a lot with a a fake baby more than like a, you know, a child. Take care of it, you know? Really think of it as a baby. Weird segue, but what do you think about uh, like 20 years from now when sex dolls like look just like humans? Oh, uh, we can't tell the difference? Like an yeah. AI with Jude Law? Yeah. I talked about this with my uh, girlfriend, and I was like, what if it was like a girl that looked just like you, but it was a robot? 
Would huh. you be cool with me fucking that? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Would you cool me fucking that? But then I thought about the other way. What if there was like a sex robot, but a dude version? You know he's gonna have like abs and just like oh, he's the gonna greatest have a fucking, dick, he's gonna and the have dick's gonna vibrate, and my dick will never vibrate. Cock. He's gonna. That's what I like to call him. Tall can cock. Yeah, look at that. That's a that's scary. To you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will I will agree that's scary to me. But yeah, would you get one? I mean, they're going to be expensive. It's going to be like buying a car, I bet. Well, then the people that have them are going to be people that like, you know, drive around the Maseratis and the Rolls Royces. Right. So, let they them pull be, up next to you at a red light they're gonna, they're, and they're going to have a sex doll sitting right there. It's going to be great. Oh, well, carpool lane, you know. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> good. Diamond lane. Do you have to like um, get a hose and like spray out the vagina because you came in it so many times? Yeah, it's how, I think they give you a pump. They give you a pump? Do you guys know anything about it? Disposable. Disposable. So you That's put in like. Man, the vagina of your choice, mix and match, and make it even. What do you feel like today, honey? You can oh, change up man the vagina. Yeah. Like here, if you want. Yeah. Have somebody with that face. <laughs> You could. Yeah, you know what? I Actually, wouldn't. you know what sounds like less work than doing all that? Having sex with a real person. <laughs> but uh, less work uh, uh, right then. Right then. Uh, yeah. Then we then we get older and we're like, oh shit. Shit, that means stuff. So so can I, can I ask you guys a can I ask you a question? So when you're watching porn, right? There's like that teen tab. At what age do you start feeling disgusting for clicking, clicking teen, tab? teen tab? Haven't been there yet. Haven't been there <laughs> I'll yet. I'll let you know when I get there. Okay. Okay. I never click on the teen tab. <laughs> no? no? No. Yeah. It's just not. I mean, babysitter tab? <laughs> oh, There's no. a tab for it's babysitter? The There's a tab for everything, boy. I've never heard about a babysitter tab. That's the first Oh, my God. That's, that's the, the first, first one on the list. Like, no, it's not. It's alphabetical. <laughs> no, it's usually like, te- it's like teen and then like uh, MILF. And then, like, yeah. I like the milk. I mean, I'm an old guy. I like old milk. Yeah, but, me too. Uh, but the babysitter story <laughs> is pretty cool. Like, okay, so. You know, the younger, older stuff. Are you a story man? <laughs> oh, no, I hate it because the story is always about, like, an upset girl who's leaving her boyfriend to go suck some dick. <laughs> yeah. And seeing as I have and a girlfriend, just, I don't just, like I that hate story. I that to be me. Yeah, I'm not a story man. I'm not, we all want to be the I'm one. I'm not in it for the story. No. I love stories. <laughs> I, I prefer just like actually paying for porn so you can see like the full video uncut because I think yeah. you get a lot more of the like That's the, good. Uh, I'll it, call them tender you're moments. Making, you're making it through the whole video. Huh? Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm I'm invested. But it's not the story I'm paying attention to. It's like the unique like I don't know. There's there's stuff that they leave out when they do those like ten minute ones on the free websites. Yeah, I usually go for the thirty minute videos. Jesus Christ! I don't make the videos. I just. I usually I, just go I, for I the girl the that I think's hot. I'm just like, yeah, if it's a 10-minute video, if it's a 50-minute video, I could fast-forward if I need to. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, porn. Yeah. Porn. What would we do without? Um, cheat more. <laughs> we would cheat more if we didn't drink a lot more. What would we do without strippers, escorts, porn, <laughs> We, we you know what? Society. We would probably cheat more, but I think we would get more done during the day. Like yeah, instead, of, instead of like going to the bathroom, absolutely. Like, so then you get something done for the man. Yeah, it's not for us. Yeah, because if it was for us, it would be more. That's true. Hot or whatever. Yeah. Pot is so sexy. Yeah. 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 Y
What happens on the map? Oh, uh, I heard a little bit about that. What but a- it's okay. It is okay. Very okay. And I talked uh, enough about it with him. And uh, everything's fine. Well, one of the members, um, they were getting some uh, flack. Stuff from their parents. Yeah, because they said that they did acid. Yeah. And uh, Sorry, dude. <laughs> sorry. So th- s- sorry, mom. This sorry, is my, dad. This is my dilemma. Like, th- the parents already heard their kids say he's done acid like what is editing the video or taking it down gonna do they already know uh, uh, nothing sorry dude it's not no. gonna it's not gonna haps no but i get it i get it yeah but i i left the um the the audio version up on all the audio That's platforms fine. but i it's think your show i think it's the video thing is like his parents probably didn't just want like video evidence of their child saying i've done acid well, what what do you think what do I think? Yeah, what do you think about it? What do I think about it? What do you think? What, 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 what would you want? What? It's already in your hands. Yeah. No, I mean, I respect anybody. If they, anytime anybody comes on the podcast, if there's something that they don't like in there, uh-huh. I respect it. And yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll take it down or edit it or do whatever. It's, uh, it's not just my podcast. I'm sharing it with people that come on. Very true. But. Um, Good point. I, I also am part of the school of thought where if you say it, and you know, well, if you're in a room and you know mics are uh, on and a camera's <laughs> on, maybe just decide what you should and shouldn't say. But you should almost get a little, a little, little contract. No, dude, I'm trying to make this thing loose. Trying to make people dude, feel all comfortable. All it has to say is like, hey, whatever goes goes, and then just signature and then a date. No, that's too much, man. That's too vague. Too. I think people get too. <laughs> they, I, it'll make people too tense. I want them to yeah. come in here and just do their thing. And uh, I'll respect whatever their decision is. Who but I, trust me, I don't like feel, I mean, I don't have any hatred at that person. It's parents are lame. Parents just don't understand. <laughs> In the words uh, of Sir William Smith, uh, right? Par- yeah, parents just don't understand. And uh, Jazzy, 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 Jeff, Jazzy Jeff. Jazzy Jeffrey. Jazzy parents Jeffrey. just don't understand. I mean, they did at one point, right? Uh, and in a certain sense, like they they been there almost done that uh, they almost did it i don't know well i just think it's funny it's like how many people die from lsd related deaths a year in the united states it was less than five like, last year I say like, yeah under 10 drinking that's just me alcohol, throwing out a number alcohol related deaths last year probably si- over a thousand sixty three thousand but for some <laughs> reason yeah, we're 63 okay. times a thousand <laughs> yeah <laughs> but for some reason like they're not freaked out that their kid's drinking yeah but they're freaked out that their kid's doing acid it's uh, it's a weird time we live in. We're gonna be parent. Not oh, we're gonna be parents. We're gonna be the old people soon. Sorry, sorry. I have a child here. I don't think I'm gonna be a parent. Yeah, you can get one of those. They fucking don't. You can leave them in the car, and no one yeah. cares. Um, it's an age we're we're, <laughs> we're um, going into where we're gonna be the old people and give like thirty years, and it'll be a different world because yeah. we're the old people. I but mean, I'm, I'm same, planning on slowing down, but that's good. Like, I slowed down a little bit. <laughs> I had. Well, don't laugh at me, brother. I had. I mean, we all slowed down from high school. We're not all like, <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, drinking whole bottles of tequila every single night. You can't drink like that anymore. Not I. Not Says I. Says the fucking clown. Yeah. You do sometimes drink yeah, a lot of tequila. Well, well, it depends. Like, is it Friday? Is it? Is it Saint? It's Thursday. Saint Anyone's Patrick's Day. Day? Saint oh. Anyone's Day. Yeah, because if the saint has a day, you got to drink for him. Because Catholics, you know. Yeah. It's a cult. Catholicism is about drinking and hating yourself. And if you do those two things, God will love you. Bada boom, bada bing. Nailed it right on the foot. That's funny. Thank you. Took me a second. It's all right. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> but yeah, so you're doing a... Anyway, I don't I don't care that I had to take it down. But um, uh, I wanted to address it so that people know, like, hey, if that yeah. happens... Hit them up. I don't even... No, no, no. We talked about it. But yeah. I, I tell everyone, like, if there's something you're not comfortable with... Like, there's no bad blood. I'll just handle it. And I figured out how to um, edit YouTube videos that are already uploaded, like, really easily. So, uh, it's next on my list. And then once that part's out, it's going back up. Bada boom. Bada ching. Yeah, bada chingy. Remember him? Hotel room? Ooh. Wait, how does that song go? Yeah, yeah. How does that song go? Um, Fucking... It's a hotel want... party. Just bring the lick. <laughs> yeah, just remember. bring the lick. That first part. <laughs> yeah. That Chingy's first line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll listen to it later. We'll jab at yeah. it. Yeah. Anyway, but, so uh, you're going on tour with the Hard Going Dogs. on 
fucking tour tomorrow. We leave tomorrow at 11. We hit Sack Town. Sack What's tomorrow? Town. The 21st? Yeah, 21st, know. right? So we're hitting a Sacramento house show. Then we hit Reno. Then we'll be no, in no, Eugene. No. I don't think the house show's happening. The Sacramento one? Yeah, it was crossed out on the high curbs. Um, no, that was the Ventura show. Oh, Ventura show. Okay. Yeah, we, that one got canceled because some motherfuckers canceled it. Anyways, first show. My parents show, are going to be home. Yeah, everybody, everyone's at school. I'm like, dude, you're not, motherfucker. We could just still have a party. Anyways, Reno, next uh, 24th, we're in Eugene, Portland. Then nice. we're in Spokane. Does anyone know where Spokane is? Washington? Yeah. Spokane, Washington? I ain't never heard of that. It's where my grandpa died. Fuck. <laughs> Hey, you, Gramps, uh, we're playing in your fucking, your death town. You should play on his grave, like, dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. send me an address. Tell him to send me an address. All right, uh, so, <laughs> plot <laughs> number 368. I'll remember that. I'm kidding. Seattle, Seattle House Show on the 27th, then we'll be in Portland. We'll be right in Portland. We'll be, like, right up in it. You look so sweaty. No, it's the beer. Ah. Uh, then we have Coos Bay and then Gilman. Coos Bay? Where's Coos Bay? I don't know. The mansion <laughs> Coos Bay. <laughs> And then you play Gilman. Hold on. I forgot to uh, close that window. Keep talking. Uh, and then, you know, then you come home. And then on August 9th, we have a live session with Broken Sun. We've been playing some live stuff. And then on August 24th, you stupid LA motherfuckers are playing with No Parents and Paranoids in LA. Then San Diego, September 7th at the Soma. And then DBA on the 16th. And then the Smell. We have a nice Smell show, Halloween Smell show. And I've still never been to the Smell. It's fucking hot in there, so I don't blame you. Yeah, and the name, yeah. it's like, why it, would I want to go to that? It only smells like right when you walk through the door, and then you get through the smell, and then you're in the heat, the must. Hmm. I, I'll go to a venue that has AC. I'm not as punk rock as you think, man. Oh, shit. By the way, I'm throwing a show at the smell July 28th. I'll be on tour, so I won't be there. But it's Billy Changer, Healing Gems, Poncho and the Wizards, and the Nars. They're going to be at the smell July 28th. Is it going to be good? No, oh, it's going to be nice. Oh, it's gonna be, oh this is going to be a good show? One of the good ones? Yeah, one of the good ones. Oh, okay, good. It's not going to be a shitty show. It's going to be a good one. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm throwing with Easy Evil. Shout out Easy Evil. They're great. They're from uh, San Luis Obispo. Yeah. In Torre County. You know, the uh, I can barely hear you because you're kind of like behind the mic. But um, you had that beer baptism show for Chongo, who's right here. He is right here. He's looking at me weird, though. Yeah. He doesn't recognize me in this mask. There's some kind of syndrome going on with him. I can't pinpoint it, but there's something wrong with that it's baby. It's up syndrome. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, the beer baptism show. Yeah. Uh, big fun. Big fun. Love them. Big fun was a lot of fun. They're coming on the podcast uh, two weeks. Hell, yeah. Those so, are good guys. That was fun. Uh, they are big so fun. humble. They're yeah. humble, humble mother. I didn't chat with them uh, in person. Yeah. But their show was pretty wild. Yeah. There was one guy in the crowd, though, that, like, you could tell was a super fan. And he was, like, uh, just uh, moshing too much and, like, scream, it, was, screaming into the mic. Was it me? No, no. Oh, okay. It was a fat dude. Oh, oh, that's that fat dude. He's always. The one. He, he's always <laughs> that sounded so funny. He's always there. Uh, shout out, fat dude DBA. Is there a hashtag for him? Yeah. Uh, hashtag fat dude DBA. Baby race. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so you threw a good show. And then uh, that band kind of blew my mind. So I had to have them on the podcast. Yeah, I met them at Continental Room when they played. Uh, I forgot who they played with, but they played at Continental. Yeah, that's the reason why I really wanted to go to the beer baptism. Because I remember watching your videos on Instagram. Yeah, and, they and being like, what did I miss? Yeah, yeah. I was at Stubrick's playing pool. I you could right have walked over. You could have been like, oh, 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 and walked over. No, I saw it when I got home. Oh, I man. watched your stuff when I got home, but I should have known. It was cool. Uh, I met them at Continental, and then I was like, hey, dude, that was tight. You want to play my show? And they're like, yeah, dude. And I was like, tight. And then I left. It's Sometimes it. it's, it's that <laughs> sometimes easy, baby. It's almost that easy. I got a show coming. I have so many. I took on a fat load. Yeah. Uh, it's a fat load that I'm prepared for. Yeah, but I like the ones where they're not prepared for the fat load. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, taking on a fat load. I got that smell show while I'm on tour. I got all of the tour. To wait, wait. Through. When are you in Oregon? Because I might be up there as well. I'm in Oregon, July 27th through the 28th. 
of July. Yeah, I'll be up there. Really? Where are you playing? Yeah, I'm going on a river trip. House show. It's the one we're throwing with uh, Lady Wolves, oh, Nick, Eugene? Nick Normal, and Garden. No, Eugene's uh, oh, uh, that's with VCR. VCR. Eugene. Anyway, I'll hit you up. Eugene's the 24th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's going to be some people over there. There's going to be some people over there? Yeah. Oh, man. they have people up there? Yeah, they're all fucking pale. They are. Yeah, they all wear shants, too. I went to um, the Walmart in Grants Pass, Oregon. That was the most redneck place I'd ever been. It's That's crazy. the most Walmart. You- <laughs> yeah, it's the most Walmart place I've ever been. It's like a you see a big Walmart. This Walmart was like four times that size. And you know what I hate about Oregon is I spent like a good two hours going from store to store trying to get whiskey. And I'm like, why the fuck does nobody have whiskey? Whiskey. Turns out they don't sell hard alcohol in grocery stores. You have to go to an actual liquor, liquor store. store. That's a lot of off. states in Cal- that's like California. There's a lot of states in the United States. Like when I went to Georgia, uh, Sunday, you couldn't get alcohol anywhere until after two. Because yeah. it's what, the Lord's you mean Day. Utah? No, it's uh fucking Atlanta, Georgia. I'm sorry. Really? Yeah. Oh, they do that in Utah too. Well, because they're Mormons. Yeah. Yeah. You can fuck like you can have eight wives, but can't drink alcohol. Can't drink on before a fucking two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I feel like if I was to get eight wives, which I would not want, because that's eight people I have to um, take care of, um, I would need to get them drunk to even consider having... Yeah, they got a weird thing going on. They need to figure that shit out, Utah. No, I think they got it. I just don't... They don't I don't it. know how to swing it. They don't know how to swing it either. That's why they fucking don't let anyone drink. I did go through a drive through and they gave me um, alcohol, though, which was super funny. I did that in uh, Kansas. I did that in Kansas. I went through a drive through fucking liquor place at like 1 a.m. Why were you uh, in Kansas? My brother moves around all over the United States. So I've been to Dallas to go see him, Austin. Why does he move? His work. We send him off to different places to manage stuff. And then he finds a house, puts his family there for like a year. He manages different companies? or No, he manages the same company, but they just they keep throwing him around to like train. Oh, okay. And like start up a company. Got it. And then for when he's done... Th- Somewhere else, start up the company. Mm-hmm. Somewhere else, so he goes at, like, every two years. He's moving. Is so he right married? now he's in Georgia. Is he? Is he older than you? Yeah, six years older than me. He's thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah. Does he have a family? Two kids, two little white babies. And do they move with him? Yes, sir. Like what? Every year? Every two six years. months? Every two years? Yeah. Do they dig it or not dig it? She digs it. Oh, babies yeah. are too fucking young. Like one and yeah, two. Yeah, they don't give a shit. They don't even know anything. They're like, going to poop wherever. They got no fucking friends. Yeah. Their friends are their, their fucking mom and dad, yeah. And each other, I guess. I don't know if I could do that, dude. I like being comfortable. No, like- I'm never leaving California. If I do, I'm going to fucking Portland or out of country. Yeah. Like or- where? Out of country? Yeah. Um, That's a big um I just gave. Yeah. I'm going towards Spain. Probably Spain. Spain's nice. Madrid. And then somewhere... Europe, somewhere okay. Europe. I really liked Prague. Yeah, Prague. I never. I haven't been out of the country. That I haven't been to Europe before. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking. Did you go to Spain? Mm-mm. But a lot of my friends have, like on tour and stuff. And, and you're told, like, that looks cool. Yeah, that looks <laughs> sick. Yeah, Spain, and then probably like somewhere in Germany or like Netherlands ish. Do you speak Spanish? No, but I can <clears> understand <throat> it. Okay. Like if, if you said something, I would like pick out words and be like, oh, he said that. Um, uh, you know. Taco. Yep. I know what the fuck that is, dude. Oh, okay. Chupacabra. Yep. <laughs> Caught one. Yeah, I don't know. I was hearing um, <clears throat> people talk about Puerto Rico because it's like technically part of the United States. Yeah. And uh, land's really cheap down there right now because that hurricane. <laughs> so Yeah, they got to rebuild that whole place. And I heard that like, uh, there's, I mean, like five of the Miss America winners are from Puerto Rico or whatever. So I'm thinking there's a high capita of... Uh, Pretty women over there. And I, if you got a job and you're okay looking, I hear you're just in. <laughs> anywhere. Any, <laughs> anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. You can get into the bathroom without a token, you know? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The bathroom's where you got to put a quarter in. I <laughs> hate those ones. <laughs> bathroom token. It's always like a comic book store or some shit. Or like somewhere like in a Laguna Beach. Like the Ralphs at Laguna Beach I went today that I needed a token uh, for. Fancier places where they don't want... want they uh, don't want bums just like sleep in there yeah. yeah but yeah dude bathroom tokens uh 
That's what I'm into right now. No, you're not. I know. <laughs> but I have one. So what's the plan, man? My plan? Yeah, what's your plan? Well, I just fucking figured it out. What is it? Uh, take over the world. How? Uh, one step at a time. I feel like this is a Miley Cyrus song. No, Selena Gomez. Ah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I slowly but surely will take over everything. No, really. Do you have a plan, though, for like what you want? Uh, Depends. What do you think I want? I don't know. I've been your friend for probably six months now, huh? and I know you're just content wherever you are. Yeah, I'm a mailman. But you're also like always, you've always got something planned, so you've always got something to look forward to, yeah. but I don't know necessarily what your like ideals are or what you want out um, of life. Well, right now, my main priority is uh, being happy. Uh, it's a lot of uh, work. Yeah. A lot of sacrifice. And I feel as though it's something that everyone wants. And you could be the richest person with the best fucking job in the world and still not be happy. So I'm trying mm-hmm. to focus on uh, being happy and <laughs> making sure that I'm happy for only the reasons that I want to be happy. Does that make sense? Can you be fooled into happiness? Well, yeah. Fools fall in love. <laughs> yeah but that's just because she gives good head yeah well at the same time i know i can be happy with doing the things that make me happy and right now in my life it sounds like you're saying stuff but you're not really saying anything. Well, I, I i'm trying to be happy by doing things that make me happy you, you didn't let me finish my okay cake. finish yeah. and what makes me happy right now uh-huh hanging out with my bros uh-huh making sure my bros are fed and rock and roll. <laughs> and if I can fulfill all of those three, uh-huh. guess what I have? Happiness. Nope. A tour. <laughs> which ah, we're, uh, And guess what a tour back. brings? Happiness. Because I get to go yeah. see places for what? And have uh, things to do while we're up there. Not just be like, yeah. oh, we're going to Portland to go visit with my girlfriend. And you get there and you're like, okay, we should go eat. Oh, where do you want to eat? We, uh, we're walking around. Yeah, you've got yeah. a plan. It's always we have a plan. There, that makes me happy. Seeing, they, seeing those fucking boys on stage, smiling, playing, hitting all the right notes, and then afterwards taking them to Cane's, epitome of happiness. Like I, I My heart explodes mm-hmm. every fucking time. Yeah. So I'm running with it. And it's going to be a, a good it's, play, man. It's a far run. It ain't no fucking 3,200. This is like a 32,000, brother. Wow. Yeah. Math. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the High Curbs are one of the bands that I think could make it. You know, there's a handful of bands that I think could do it. But High Curbs have something cool going for them. And they're yeah. they're just 21, right? They just turned 21. That's Oldest crazy. number is 22. That's so weird. Yeah. But they've been doing it for a while. They became a band at like 15. Yeah. So it's But there's lots of people that play music for years that don't do anything with it. It's a brotherhood. It's a bond. Yeah, man, they tore shit up when they came here. They're a riot. They know each other in and out. In and out. They know who has an innie, who has an Audi, who likes do an innie, and who likes who has an, an Audi? Audi. I don't think anyone does. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not that that's <laughs> weird, but it's kind of weird. But, but they know. They know nobody has one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I have a I know anybody that has an Audi belly button. I know a couple people, I think. That's just Couldn't like a, name them, that's but just I've a seen stomach them. clit. Mm-hmm. That's the name of my band. Stomach clit? Yeah. It's our stomach clit. Next up is brown bag full of eggs. Are this those both other, your bands? Is, yeah, 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 you got yeah, two yeah. bands. I just, I sw- we switched. Do you actually have a, a favorite band name? Like oh, a, there's too many. A pseudo one? There's so many. There's Waffle Stomp. I like a Tapatio Handjob. Mm. That's a good one. That's that's good. <laughs> yeah. I got waffle stomp. Waffle stomp? Stomp. Uh, like when you have to take a shit in the shower, you got to uh, stomp it down with your feet. Right. It's a waffle stomp. Forgot about that. I didn't have to do that. My grandparents, they had like one hinge on the drain. Oh, you had to reach your hand in there? Un- unscrewed, so you could just like turn the thing and you could just shit directly <laughs> like in the hole. <laughs> I did it once and then they complained about a smell and I just said I had no idea what happened. But oh, I just pooped in there, Grandma. My bad. Yeah. I'm your grandkid, Grandma. <laughs> I pooped in your shower. I didn't tell her. 
I didn't tell her. There was no you way I was saying that shit in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. If you met my grandma, you would not you would not want to get her mad. Maybe I would. I she she made me drink bleach once. That's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> because it said crap. And I called her an old hag. So she said, Hey, I'm gonna wash your mouth out. Nope, I'm fucking bleach in your mouth. Yeah, she gave me bleach. Fuck, how'd that taste? No, she didn't really, but this is a running joke. Whenever I'm around my grandma and other people, I always tell that story, and she's like, there's no fucking way I gave you bleach. You would have died. But Grandma, I, you're crazy back then. I still tell people that. Grandma, you were on a lot of coke back then. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> just a lot of like uh, Rosie O'Donnell and uh, QVC. Rosie O'Donnell can get any old woman fired up, like yeah. Wendy Williams. Yeah. Yeah. Like who, Williams? Wendy Williams. Who's that? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, they get women fired up. And it's like, hey, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Relax. <laughs> Relax. All of a sudden, they want a divorce, and they're yeah. like, "I saw Wendy Williams today." They're yeah. like, "Mom, settle down. I came to get like, you know, I want to see if Dad any beers in the fridge." Yeah. So I'm here. I didn't hear it. She's not trying to have like an intervention with you, and yeah, it's, Wendy Williams said like it's bad to wear your shoes for more than ten hours. I'm like, dude. Doctor Oz said that uh, you can't be wearing. Doctor Oz is the other fucking one I hate. When people quote Doctor Oz, I'm like. Dr. Oz, God. Dr. Phil, all the fucking TV doctors. TV doctors. They need to get a job. Be a good man. They need to get a fucking job is what they need. They're, they're out of jobs is what they're doing. So they're, they're doing TV TV doctors. No, I think it's the people that are watching that all day need jobs. I think yeah. you need hobbies. That's why, shit to that's do. why every infomercial in between is like, yo, wh- I just went to college. Come to fucking this college. They don't give a shit. Like some like, Everest. <laughs> yeah. Come to mm-hmm. Everest College. We don't give a shit there. They be fucking, we have so many classes. No, we don't even take them. We don't show up. Like mm-hmm. stuff like that. And then some guys on the couch is like, hell yeah. Yeah. This fucking guy gets me. Yeah. Trying to make college seem easy. You just come here. I, I, have, fe- I have seven jobs. And I still got this college degree, and this got me only one job that pays I don't, just like the seven jobs. I don't know anybody that's graduated from, like, Phoenix University, Everest Community College. I know. Like, do you know anybody? I do. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing now, Ah, but I know that they did that. <sighs> what, do you, what, what are you going to do? You know what's funny? I always, like, think of Everest of, as, like, the place where hot girls go to become nurses you ever notice that they'll all like sign up for everest like community college and it's always like girls with a huge ass ghetto booty <laughs> and you see them like in their new nurse uniforms and they're always like about to be a legit nurse everest everest Let's plug everest if that's not an ad for everest college i don't know what is we've got big fat booty, booty, big nurses. booty nurses yeah. yeah big booty nurses we got big booty nurses got big booty nurses <laughs> That's the, that should be the background song. Uh, I'm surprised you exist. Me too. You're a my, funny my mom said that. Person. My mom honestly said that the other day. Did she? No. Uh, but <laughs> but I feel like that's something she would say. What's your mom like? She's fucking cool. My yeah. parents are tight. Yeah. My, my dad's a reporter for the Orange County Register. He's a watchdog. He polices the police. And Does he? Get, he? he gets fucking DAs fired. Are you serious? Yeah. Shout oh, out wow. to Tony Suvedra. Yeah. He's, he's a head honcho. I met that dude. Yeah. He's a big boy. He doesn't look like a guy that uh, brings down. Well, because the he's DAs. tired of everyone getting away with shit that they shouldn't be getting away with. Yeah, he plays cool, and then he'll see them doing dirty shit. Yeah, and then we get vans parked outside of our house growing up. Do like, you like really? Dog, my dad has the police see my last name on the fucking ID, and they're like, "Tony's son, trust me, dude." <laughs> I know. Where you, did you you grew up in Chino? Grew up in Chino. So he was... He worked out here in Orange County. Okay. So every cop I run out, like, run into here. How many cops do you run into? Uh, well, my left uh, headlight's out. So a lot, oh. really. Yeah. It'll, Get it fixed. Uh, hey, hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but so your dad was a uh, reporter for he the is Orange County. Yeah. Is still? Yeah. Okay. And what, what does your mom do? She works at the Chino Unified School District. Shit. Oh, right. I don't even know if I should be. Oh, no, she's you already retired. told me. She's, yeah. yeah, she's retiring this year. So no, but you cool. told me about this already. Yeah, she's a she's a she's like a right under the superintendent. Did you go see Tom Petty with your family? Saw Todd Rudgren with my Todd, mom and my dad. Right, right, right. And then I saw Neil Young with my dad. Okay. Recently. Yeah, I got a message at like 3 a.m. one day, and I opened up the message and it's just a picture with like you, your mom. Remember? And I, I, I messaged you back and I was like, <laughs> what is this? No, I messaged you back and I was like, cool. 
why? <laughs> like, why are you sending me a picture of you and your mom? <laughs> and he messaged me back like hours later. I was super drunk. I don't know. Yeah, I I don't know why I sent you a picture uh, with me and my mom. You just wanted I was to trying see to send your family. It to, yeah, maybe that. Maybe I just this is where I came from. Trying to send it to someone. Like, hey, check <laughs> this fucking shit out. It's me and my mom. Yeah, at the Todd Rudkin show. I don't know Utopia. if me and my mom have ever done anything that cool. Uh, get on it, brother. Take her to a rock show. <sighs> no, it's take her to Stubricks. Play some pool. She's been to Stubricks. My dad used to go to Stubricks a lot, but I don't know. I just don't feel like it's appropriate. What's going on? Oh, you got a moth on you? I got oh, a mosquito, mosquito on my Skeeto back. Skeeto on your pedo? Yeah, some other band names called Skeeto backs. <laughs> oh, fucking mosquito? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant a. You said moth, dude. <laughs> I said moth. He said mosquito. It's not zero or whatever. <clears throat> it could be. You don't know. All right, man. Are we going to do it? We have to. Right? We have to do it. All right, let's yeah. check the one we have first. I know. How much I you know. got? I got about a, I'm going to say a quart. I'm going to take the mask off. Yeah, take the mask off. So for those listening, he's been wearing the old, that's even worse. It's a good thing you have the hat on. But he's had the mask on this whole podcast. It's stuck on my hair now. Wow. Damn. Do you feel good now? <sighs> yeah, actually it feels like I got reborn. <laughs> yeah. D- uh, la, 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 la. I love that mask. Thank you to whoever we stole it from in San Francisco. Uh, you saw us steal it and you let us go with it. Shout out Birdie. It was Birdie Ber- Birdie Ban. Birdie Ban? Yeah. There's not going to fit on his head. I just realized. Do we have, oh, well, let's check this we after. We have to. No. Dude. Let's, let's it's, do this. I got way too much of this one. How much you got? Like Split three, it with me. Three fourths. Split it with you? Yeah. Like, like All right. Top me off. All right, guys, thanks for coming out to this podcast. We're going on tour tomorrow with the High Curves. We have so many shows lined up. If you hear this, uh, I'll be on the road. Uh, I'm going to drink this beer. Okay. I'm also going to take a nice little 10 second breather before we shotgun. Before that shotgun, yeah. Okay. Besides the High Curves, what's a band that we should be listening to right now? I ask everyone at the end of the podcast. Well, I think everyone should dive into uh, what they used to listen to. Uh, be nostalgic with it. For some reason, there's sand all over my face. Or dirt. I think there is dirt in that mask. Anyways. I don't uh, know what's in that mask, but it's Dive good. into... Dive in. I, I've been diving into what I used to listen to when I was like 19. It's been a lot of Franz Ferdinand. The Hives are a big, a big one for me. Um, but let's do bands right now. You gotta listen to Poncho and the Wizards. Healing Gems are my boys, so you gotta listen. Go listen to them. Um, on the side of bands, is go- Healing Gems got um, God, what the fuck's his name? Did they get a new guitarist recently? Got a new bassist. Got a new bassist. Yeah. Who's that? I fucking forgot his name. Eduardo. 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 Yeah. Who am I? Who am I thinking of? Never mind. I'll talk about it later. There's somebody that I think we both know that was supposed to come on the podcast, but I forgot who it was. Huh. Anyway, um, listen to Nick Normal from Portland VCR. There's a band right now called uh, Gardner. They're going through some technical difficulties, but they'll be back up. They're fucking heavy. Uh, What's the technical difficulties? They kick their bases out. Ah, uh. so they're trying to find new bases, pretty much. So if you play bass and you're living in Oregon hit a band called Gardner up because they're heavy and they just all they need is for you to hit a couple strings to the song <laughs> you don't need to play a full six you just need to play it's four because it's already heavy he's already got a handle on the guitar yeah all she has to I do. saw some of their videos yeah yeah another good band right now Plantasia they're just starting out they're doing really good Astro Samurai is my boys the High Cribs kick it there's a band called Highway from LA that's really good right now Pow Pow's killing it I love Pow, uh, Adult Books, Frank and the Witch Fingers, all those good bands. Yeah, love them. Dig it. But uh, for right now, I get to go to tour tomorrow. I get all the way to Seattle, and I get to come back home, and I get to come home and take pictures of little children for money. Does that make sense? Um, Should I elaborate? You please, yeah, maybe for your own well-being. It was a joke. I knew I had to elaborate. I was being fake. Yeah. I took. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm a picture man now. I go around to elementary schools K through 12 and take pictures of kids for picture day. Oh, you're that guy. Yeah, I'm that guy. I used to love that guy. I'm this guy. 
Oh, little kids? Huh? There's no way they're that little. They know where to look. Well, I'm just, I'm going to, this is, Chongo's my. He's holding up Chongo and shaking it. As that's if what you do when you're attention. a picture boy, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, my main goal is uh, the parents are happy if their kid smiles. Mm-hmm. So I have to make the fucking kid smile. Do they make you tie your hair up? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> I are you going to quit? My first, day, my first day is August 1st when I get back from tour, like the next day. Yeah, that's like when school starts. I told them, because they were, we have training next week, and I told them mm-hmm. I wouldn't be here, that I'm going on tour, and they said, okay, we'll train you on when you get back. They're being really cool with uh with me so i get to be your dad if you have any kids out there dad if you got any kids out there tell them to look for me uh and smile so my heart yeah my job isn't as hard as it needs to be if any parents are watching this and they they see you later they're gonna be like no way you're taking pictures of my kid and i'm gonna be like too late (laughs) your shirt literally says nature world 100 percent pure whoop ass and it's yeah, got shout a out 316. 316? Yeah, dude, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, my God. Is that? <laughs> that's not a Stone Cold Yeah, it's Steve. open the can of whoop ass. Oh, my God. That's what he used to say. You were the corniest cool motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, listen to corn and Limp Biscuits <laughs> break stuff. That's my favorite song. I, I hate that you keep posting that. Because, like, <laughs> I'll forget my volumes on, and I'll, like, watch your videos, like, late at night, and all of a sudden Limp Biscuit comes on all loud. I fucking hate that band, dude. I love it. Right now, right now that's my favorite song. Uh, I'll probably get over it, but for right now, fucking suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the worst. <laughs> Let's get it. All right. Do we got to bite it too? Yeah, we got to bite it. <sighs> I don't like biting it, but I'll do it for you. You Your bottom one? My canine, my bottom canine. It's honestly getting duller and duller since the years have passed. I'm just shaving it down. Yeah. Oh, I opened up a big hole. All right. I'm going to get on that side of Shoulder with my shoulder. Shoulder my shoulder. Is that something? Shoulder my shoulder. Captain, my captain. Ah, okay. Uh, Thank you. All right, you beautiful pieces of shit. That just about does it for this episode of the Psychic Wave Podcast. Big thanks to Alec, a.k.a. Narlord, for coming by and being fucking funny, dude. I love you so much. You're a fucking riot. Uh, and I just... Come back, come back, man. Come back home. Get back to Fullerton with the boys, the high curbs, because I miss all of you. We need to hang, and you need to tell me your stories from the road. Uh, I know you've been having a good tour. There's no way that you're not going to have an amazing tour with those guys. Um, but yeah, really proud of all of you and thanks for coming on. So if you like this podcast, I'm going to recommend you checking out Bundy's podcast, Bundy, the podcast. They are, uh, part of the psychic, na- psychic nave, psychic wave network. And, uh, I, I just love them so much. So they do a similar sort of thing, but they've got their own charm. They got their own style. It's really fucking great. Nani, he's such a cool person. Go check out their podcast. Yeah. All right, so if you want to follow us on Instagram, it's at the Psychic Wave. If you want to follow my personal Instagram, which you can, it's at Andrew Sanishin, and Sanishin is spelled S-A-N-Y-S-H-Y-N. So to close this out, we're going to play a High Curbs tune because, you know, Alec, High Curbs, Narlord, High Curbs, kind of go hand in hand, right? All right, so without further ado, here is Ghost by the High Curbs. Sometimes I get a little bored and then we get behind. Well, let me give you a little story. 
little something to remember me by It might make you cry, but it'll be on your mind Oh, well 